Hello everyone, welcome back to Matata Lab training project. In today's video, we will introduce the wonderful add-on, the animation add-on. Different from previous add-on, the animation add-on requires more complex abstract thinking as well as logical thinking. Therefore, please make sure that you understand those basic coding blocks first. A key knowledge concept in the animation add-on is the differential motion. Simply, this add-on can control the rotation of the two wheels separately. It is a little bit hard for kids to understand the differential motion. But let's take our Matata boat for example. We use this block to make Matata boat turn left. But how do the two wheels move to complete this motion? Actually, we can feel it by putting the Matata boat on our palm. But we know that, in order to complete this motion, left turn, the left wheel moves backward while the right wheel moves forward. When we understand this principle, we will learn how to use the animation add-on more easily. Now, let's figure out what we have in this box. As you can see, there are many red blocks which are set speed blocks and these yellow blocks are waiting blocks and I assume that we all know these number blocks and we also have some purple blocks which are look blocks let's inquire the set speed block so first, let's take a guess about the function of these blocks based on previous experience it seems that this set speed block is divided into two parts a move forward arrow on the left side and a dotted line frame on the right side. I think this logo is designed according to the left wheel and the right wheel of the Matata boat. So let's verify our deduction. Oh, it means the left wheel moves forward and the right wheel stays still. Wow. It's making a circle. Well, why the Matata boat keeps running? How can I stop it? Okay, let's find a way to stop it. Maybe I can stop it with this block, which has a square on the arrow and a similar dotted line frame on the right side. Finally, the Matata boat stops. So now, let's try this coding block. I guess it can let the right wheel move forward and keep the left wheel still. And in order to stop it, we need this block. And here comes this block, which can let one wheel move backward and keeps the other one still. Now, let's try to draw a small circle. I just keep the left wheel still and move the other one forward. It should be work. Yes, just as I expect. What if I want to draw a bigger one? Maybe I can let both wheels move forward with the different speed. So, I'm going to attach a number block 3 to this block, which means I set the speed 3 of the right wheel to move forward. Yes, as you can see, we have a bigger circle now. If I still think it is not big enough, I can slow the right wheel down to speed 2 and do this again. Yes, as you can see, it is really big now. To summarize today's video, we inquired these set speed blocks and know what the differential motion is. 
and we also know that by setting different speed of left wheel and right wheel, Matatabo has more incredible ways to go. And we have a crucial conclusion. If we don't put these two blocks onto the control board, we cannot stop the Matatabo. It will maintain the state until the battery is dead. So after today's video, we hope that you can have a clear understanding of our set speed blocks. In next video, we will introduce these weight blocks. Don't forget to come back.